Bam, Chris Conley here. And as I discover Houston, I'm going to some of the iconic eateries around the city to see what makes them tick. We're at Sticky's Chicken today, and I'm gonna sit down with owner Patsy to see what makes their chicken sticky. Let's go. This is the con man cravings. How are we doing? Hi, I'm Patsy. Chris. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Sticky's Chicken. This wow. is our restaurant. We used to be a food truck and now we're out here in Sawyer Yards. This is awesome, like a modern, rustic feel. Uh, it's really, really like lots of clean lines, really bright in here. I'm excited to check it out. Thank you. Let's go have a seat. Sweet. Sticky's Chicken. That's a really unique name. It, I know that there's a unique story to how this place got started, but could you tell us about how you came up with that name? Sure, so our name came from our sauce, and our sauce, we actually have to cook it out, and whenever it gets cooked out, it becomes sticky. So hence the name, Sticky's Chicken, and we cook it on chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, uh, but how did, you know, how did you get started here? Because I, I hear, that you weren't, you know, originally a chef or a cook, but you've created something here that is that is a vibrant part of the community and it's centered around food. How did you, how did you get here? So um, it's kind of a long story. We actually started out as a food truck, but the sauce actually started a long time ago, uh, over about 20 years ago. We started out as wings. When the wing industry started popping up, like all these wing restaurants like Hooters, BW3, Wingstop, um, there's this one particular restaurant that I really wanted to take my dad to. And I was like, Dad, you should come try this wing restaurant. It's really good. And then after dinner, he was like, oh, I could do better than that. Of course. <laughs> of course, you can never satisfy him. And so he went to the kitchen and just created his own sauce. Wow. And through the years, um, you know, he would cook it for family and friends and get togethers. Everybody would always tell us, you know, you should do something with the sauce and do something with these wings. And I'm like, you can't open up a wing restaurant with just one flavor wings. But it was always in the back of our heads, right? Or back of our minds yeah. that maybe we can do something with it. Fast forward 2014, 2015, my brother was in the post office and he wanted to get out of the post office. And he was like, let's just open up a food truck. Because in Houston, food trucks started to pop up everywhere and you know that was the start of the food truck industry in Houston. And so he did his research and found a food truck and then we started and we just went with it and we incorporated the sauce into different recipes and you know to expand on just like wings. And it's crazy because even though we started off as wings, that's not even our popular dish. Really? What's the most popular dish? It's chicken over rice. Yeah, sauteed chicken over rice, and we cook the sticky sauce on the chicken. That actually sells out a lot more than the That's wings. so interesting. But I'm still just caught over the fact that, you know, with no restaurant experience and, and just basically on a family recipe and an idea, you've created this. And what, what was it that helped you bridge the gap, you know, the fear gap of starting something new and doing something different? Well, it's crazy because I never used to know how to cook eggs. Like I would always, I mean, I, I didn't even know how to boil eggs. I couldn't even like. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I, mean, I was the worst at eggs. I burn everything. And I don't know, you just kind of learn. Like to me, because I used to work corporate before the food truck and then to me it was a lot more satisfying seeing people like walk away with a smile versus like getting yelled at every day over the phone, yeah. you know? That's what got me and I was like, okay, well I could make people smile even if it was just for a moment because you know when you're having a bad day and then you eat something that's like your favorite meal or like, mm -hmm. it just makes you happy even for that moment and, and I like, um, I enjoyed giving people that moment. That's awesome. And then so from there, I was like, well, it's a system, right? <laughs> and so you just learn that system. And I was able to learn that system of like how to make things. I guess that's how I learned how to cook is wow. because I learned that system in the food truck. Well, the system seems to have worked. 
uh, <laughs> because this place is this place is just blown up, and the the traction that you guys have got, and the, the way that people talk about it, and the experience is is amazing. But like, I just want to tell you first off, it's it's inspiring to see you do this, you know, with with what people would call no experience, you know, going out into a world like this and creating something where you're putting smiles on people's faces, you're providing a, a great food and an experience. Uh, as a, a woman owned and operated business, you know, that's awesome. And, and we need more of that. I have a daughter on the way uh, and I am, I'm really excited for her to be coming into a world where there are people like you doing what you're doing here. So that, that's, just, that's just awesome to me. Growing up, my dad always treated my brother and I equally. Like we had the same house chores, we had the same everything. Um, so I never really understood that women you know, were treated unfairly until I got into a corporate world. So I was like super shocked whenever I realized like my coworkers were getting paid more than me. And so it was a big hit. And so um, from there, that's whenever I realized like, okay, I gotta like push harder so you don't realize that you are making a difference until like people tell you right and you and it's just it just comes natural to just work hard because like you just have to you know and you don't you don't see it but then now that i'm here i mean it's it's amazing now to see that there are a lot of people who do stand up now and say like you can do this and it's you know you do have people to look up to and um and even like for men to support women yeah. to you know to push them out there and say like hey you know keep going because if I didn't have my dad or my brother to push me every day and like because I tell my brother all the time like oh my god you know this guy like looks down on me because of whatever he's like why who cares <laughs> you yeah. know like just keep going it doesn't matter what other people think of you that's awesome well that your story is so inspiring and just to see the way that you you honestly care about you know, the effort that's put into everything that you do. I think that that's amazing. But I, for one, am ready to try some of this food that I've been hearing about so much. So why don't we do that? All right, cool. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, we have wings. This, uh, this, this looks Fantastic. Thank you. And it smells really good too. So where do we start? Okay, so this is the original sticky wings that got all of this started. And then whenever we opened up our restaurant, we expanded our flavors. I can see where the magic started. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm a wing connoisseur. I would say wings are my probably in my top two food groups mm -hmm. is wings and french fries. They hold the number one spot in terms of the food hierarchy. I believe that when God created food, he created wings and fries. Uh, so I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty strong authority on good wings. Mm -hmm. And this, I think I have my favorite wing spot in Houston. <laughs> okay, so what should I try next? Um, this is our slab wings. This is actually my favorite. Um, it's a honey sriracha, so it's a little spicy. It's not really crazy spicy, but it's a little spicier than the rest of them. It has a little kick. I like kick. It's... So are these sauces inspired by the sticky sauce? Um. Because these taste completely different. And I know not I'm only really. two wings in, yeah. but these taste completely no, not different. Really. We but they're still sticky. Something... Yeah, we wanted something different from the sticky sauce, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of the dishes do have the sticky sauce flavor. Um, but whenever we were creating the sauces, it all just kind of came out sticky. <laughs> yeah, they have like the same, they have the same texture and yeah. consistency, but completely different taste profiles. And then this one is a smoked shallot sauce. So that one's really good. It's almost like candy, that one. Mm, candied wings. Yeah, that's how, that's not really the best way to describe it. It's, it's sweet. Yeah. Wow. Because it's almost like a teriyaki, but not really. I feel like there's like, it, it, it's, I don't exactly know how to describe this. Yeah. I, I really don't. It's good, it's really good, yeah. but words are escaping me on how to describe what this <laughs> tastes like. <laughs> 
That is so unique. Mm -hmm. That's very unique. And this one is our dry rub. So it's, um, it's almost like a lemon, I always describe it as like almost like a lemon pepper but with an Asian twist. So are you familiar with um, tum yum soup? Like that no. Thai tum yum? That's what it is, it's like that tum yum flavor. This is the first wing that's here that's actually not sticky. Yeah. But it tastes just as good as all the other sticky ones. Yeah. So this is our chicken of rice with an egg, of course, and I made the egg. It's perfect, just kidding. And it then, is perfect. It's, it's okay. Is, Subtle uh, flex. This is our, I'm so proud of our mac and cheese. I really wanted a mac and cheese on our menu. When we first came out with our mac and cheese, it was like, ugh, it was kind of weird. And then my brother was like, well, why don't we do this with the mac and cheese? And so I've been playing with it like this whole entire, like, I guess since we opened the restaurant. And then I finally got it down and I think it tastes amazing. This is, this is, so this sauce, mm -hmm. there's the sticky sauce, mm -hmm. and what else is, so what else is So the white sauce here? is our aioli sauce, mm. and it just complements, it's actually it like our, our wing sauce, I mean like our dipping sauce, so it's not really a ranch. It pairs, it pairs so well with, with the sticky sauce, mm -hmm. like it. And that's the one that's our best seller. Okay. I see why this is the best seller right here. But see, my problem is, is they're all so good. So when I come here, I probably would have to get all of it and I would probably be eating all of it. But now I'm ready to try this because I really like mac and cheese too. Oh. Mac and cheese is kind of like a family thing mm -hmm. for me. I feel like my family at, at gatherings and things would always make mac and cheese. My aunts have their own like mac and cheese recipe. So I'm a big mac and cheese fan. You know why this is good? Because some, some people, when they make mac and cheese, for some reason, they just go short on the cheese. Mm. And you get more noodle than mac and cheese. So you're eating mac and noodle. But this, this is mac and cheese. This is proper mac and cheese right here. Nice. And the breadcrumbs, adding the texture to it, yeah. it, it, just, it just really rounds out and completes the dish. Thanks. I'm such a fan of everything that you have here. It, it's, it's a unique take on, well, other than the chicken over rice. Unique takes on, on wings, on, on different flavors. It's, like a, it's kind of like you have a, a barbecue wing, but it's not really a barbecue exactly, wing. Yeah. It, it's kind of like a Sticky's version of a barbecue wing. You kind of have a, your own version of a hot wing which isn't really a hot wing. You have your own version of a lemon pepper wing, yeah. but they're all, you can see what they pull inspiration from. And then it just takes you on a complete and total left turn into something that's absolutely unique, but it's wonderful. Each and every one of them are wonderful. Uh, and you've, you've created something here that I see why people love it. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Patsy, for having us here. Uh, you've definitely shown me what is so unique about Sticky's dishes and what, what people really love about being here. If you could tell those people who have supported you one thing, what would it be? Um, the pandemic was a very hard year for us because uh, we opened up 2020, January, right before the pandemic. And so I would just want to say thank you to everybody from the food truck and for all of our new customers that just helped us get through it because here we are now, um, we're thriving and we're actually like working on um, a couple new projects and we're working on something really exciting and something new and... What, what exactly is <laughs> so that? Can, can we on, get a sneak peek? Yes, we can. It's right here. Oh. And what is, what is this that we have here? So this is our Trill Burger. Okay. And we're working on this project with Bun B. Yes, Houston legend Bun B. A little star-studded project here. Yes, it's our smash burger, and it's amazing. And we're doing pop-ups here at Sticky's Chicken, and dates for the pop-ups are coming soon. Awesome, well, I'll have to come back for that. <laughs> yes. uh, but thank you for having us, and uh, until next time.
Hi. Hello. Wow. Hello. wow. <laughs> We're going to eat some sticky chicken today. Touch me. It's so easy to leave me all alone with the man. 